What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we are in the mid lane. We're up against a Malzahar. Took flash and teleport. I think we're going to look for a little counter invade. So they do have a really good level 1, the enemy team. But we also have a Thresh. This is a little scuffed here. We don't have Nocturne with us. Ooh, yeah, right here they get a... They get a potentially really good trade on us here. Might be able to do something, maybe. No. Wow, we just got completely obliterated there. Three for one. Now, I did get a Dark Seal stack, which is kind of good. Caitlyn got a kill. Tarek got a kill, and so did their jungle. So, definitely not the greatest for us there. Let's say we absolutely came out on the losing end of that, but we did get a Dark Seal stack. So yeah, as you can see, I went a little bit of a greedy setup here. We're into a Malzahar, so he's probably just going to relentlessly shove us in. So I just went the Dark Seal because uh, I I should be able to conserve my mana. And with the Dark Seal, if I get a kill onto him early, I can really get snowballing. But let's see. I think this game as well, I'm going to go Proto Belt. The Proto Belt build mainly for the, the Malzahar's uh, spell shield. So that way I can just proc his spell shield with my... Proto belt, because if not, it's just going to be kind of difficult for me to get that and be able to just alt him. I won't really be able to do that. So we're just going to chill here, farm up. We'll start looking to trade with this guy at level three. Oh, we just barely missed that minion. All right, him autoing me is fine with me because he's going to end up shoving the wave into us. So once we get our level two here, we got our W so we can... Not match his shove, but we can at least farm up pretty well. And I really don't want my wave shoving into him anyways. I want him to be pushing us in, so it leaves him open for a gank, right? I'm going to look for a trade here on him. All right. That's fine. Not really taking too much punishment there from him, honestly. All right, we're just farming up here. He, he does have TP, so he has no barrier. He'll definitely be killable once we get level 3. We can start looking for some trades onto him. Nice. I knew he was going to come back into us. We'll get a really, really nasty trade on him there. We don't have our Ignite, though, which is a lot of our kill pressure here. I want him to miss this cannon, so I'm going to step up aggressively onto him. Hopefully, the minions aggro the cannon. It does not look like they're going to... So he gets the cannon. Oh, man. My cursor messed up right there. Didn't get the reset on my W. I think his jungler's in the area because there's no reason he should be posturing up this close to us. I think I'm just going to look for that right there and then get a reset in because I'm almost positive his jungler's going to be coming. I really would love to look for a solo kill, but I do not think there's any chance of me getting it without dying. So I'm going to back, grab the control ward. Grab our sweeper and then just run back to lane. What I'm hoping is he stays. He has no mana, so I'm hoping this next wave will get there. And he doesn't back and he stays in lane this low with that low mana as well before he TPs. And then I can look to kill him with my ignite. Zed right here. He doesn't have his blue buff, so he's going over there right now. So this is pretty good for me right here. This is exactly what I wanted. Him to be stuck in lane right now with this big wave. So I can maybe look to kill him. I'm definitely going to look to have to trade with him. Nice. I got a pretty good trade on him. On our next rotation, we might be able to kill him here. He'll probably just reset right there. I don't know why he wouldn't. If I was him, I would reset. But I have this wave shut, a massive wave shoving into us. So he's going to miss this whole wave here, actually. Really good for us. He's going to have to TP or he's going to miss so much. So we're down a little bit. He's got 27 CS, but we're about to catch a lot of this farm right here. I do want to trim it up a little bit, though. So that way I don't take too much damage from the minions once it... There we go. Perfect. He's going to end up almost missing two full waves off of this. I think we can look to kill him, though. But uh, Nocturne comes. But we're almost caught up fully in CS. And if this guy keeps pushing right here, we should be able to kill him. Uh, this is really bad right here, because I can't 
Oh, yeah, I was about to say, that's all him. I can't sack this whole wave. It's a massive wave right here for me to try and lose. I don't like what Nocturne's doing right now because I'm sharing XP with him. I really need to get my level 6 so that way I can look to uh, get aggressive on the Malzahar. I have to really remember to not grab a lost chapter just out of habit. Man, missed the cannon too. All right, we have our level six, so I want to look for this guy before he gets his. But it's going to be kind of hard, to be honest. So what I might look to do is just stack this wave and then look to roam down to uh, bot lane. I don't think I could kill this guy from 100, so I don't think there's any point in me ulting him here. Like I said, I kind of want to just look for the bot lane gank here. I'm going to throw my control ward right here as well. Bot lane's gank's not going too well. They're pretty healthy too. I don't think I can even do anything. I had a feeling this guy was coming. I'm pretty sure I can just kill this guy. All right, I got a kill, but end up dying for it. Probably not the greatest. I really thought my team was going to rotate over here with me, but it's all good. We'll grab this. We're just going to have to be very cognizant of our mana usage because we're not going to have any extra mana, right? But this is going to give us a lot of free damage. Um, kind of sucks. This I don't like this at all, the Mobies. It makes Thresh super squishy, especially into a 3 0 Z. Let's see. But we did lose some Dark Seal stacks right there, which is a little annoying. This guy has no mana, though. I'm definitely looking to trade with this guy. At least try and get some of his HP here. These little Voidlings do a lot of damage. I think if he steps up too much, we should be able to kill him here. I really wish I had my Ignite, though. If I had Ignite, this guy would be toast for sure. I'm thinking he's just going to get a reset in and TP. He doesn't, but he has ult, so it's not like I can just go all in on him right here, right? Him autoing me there is fine with me because he's going to draw minion aggro. He has no mana either, so I can kind of just sit here. And I can, honestly, if he stays, I can look to just all in him with my fish. And even if he doesn't and he TPs right back, we get his TP for free. And since he's not TP, okay, nice. He got his TP. Might be able to sneak a little plate here, though, actually. Yes, nice. Got the plate. It's good pressure. I think if Nocturne comes, we can just alt and kill this guy. All right, he's, he's paying attention. I just need this wave to be shoving into us. I can't, like, fight him under our tower, or under his tower, rather. Let's see what he does here. All right, he's not stepping up. That's a good play by the Malzahar. I might miss that, man, damn. I gotta ping this guy missing. So I'm not sure where he went. All right, he went and warded this. Take that ward out, that's really big, taking that ward. I was hoping I could just pressure that guy off. Zed is counter ganking that, which is really bad for us. These guys kind of have our number down bot lane. That Tarek is going to make it so hard for really us to do much of anything. They should get Drake off of that. The enemy team should. An enemy has been slain. Our Scion's doing really well. Up, or not our Scion, but our Cho'Gath's doing really well up there. They're definitely taking that. I'm just going to get reset in and grab this. It's going to give me a lot of damage here. And I should be able to look to solo kill this guy. Yeah, I'm not thinking... I'm thinking bot's probably not the play because they have the invulnerability. I think we could just hard spam fight this guy. This Zed is going to be such a problem. He has no flash, but he's going to be mega strong. I think we're getting an AP Cho'Gath, which I, I'm not a fan of either. We're going to need a tank. Might get this cannon? Nice. I'm gonna ping this guy Mia. 
Gotta be careful. I don't even think I can make Realm's bot here this game because of that Tarek. Because Tarek will just ult and then probably bait me into kill getting killed. So maybe I just shove this wave, try to get some plates for myself, get strong, get to a point where I can kill people. I have, like I said, I think this is such a bad play. They're just going to... I really feel the mana issues here. I don't even think I go down there. I can maybe go. See if Zed's here in the area. All right, we got a lot of vision there. And the team got some kills. Zed's up top. I think we can look to kill this guy. Uh, he's probably just going to recall. Um, let's see. He's, I think he's probably taking that, to be honest. Yeah, he's taking. He's going to take that. Yeah, we'll definitely come try and fight this. There's a big shutdown on this Zed. Malzahar's coming, so it makes me think that Zed was here. Yeah. I don't want to go all in on that Malzahar right there, because if Zed pops over the wall, I'd be screwed. It's kind of shitty. I lost a lot there. I lost the cannon wave and everything. I got this guy. He's dead. Even if he uh, flat. Oh, man, dude. This is so unlucky here. I'm probably close here. Maybe not. If this guy flashes onto me, I'm screwed. I got ult out of this guy. Ah, man. So unlucky. We could have killed this guy if I had Nocturne ult. Yeah, that's very unlucky, man. Just super bad timing. We could have easily killed this Malzahar. He has no ult. I don't think you keep going, but yeah. Should have been a free kill for me. I used my ignite. He did get he did flash and alt, so that's good. I think our bot lane's gonna just have a miserable time up against these guys. They're still farming strong, which is good. But looks like Thresh is leaving to roam, which I don't like. Malzahar's down for another five seconds, but I'm almost positive he'll have his uh TP up back relatively soon here. Yeah, I, I for sure prefer the uh, Ludens build. Just the, the mana it gives you. So much utility. We should have a lot of extra damage, though, with this uh, Proto Belt setup. I'm just going to keep sweeping, trying to deny any vision that they may have. This guy might come ward this over here. I'm going to try and just take his... Stuff out, proc his shield there. I really want to go for him, but I just know that Zed's in the area. He's pretty strong, too. Going the freaking pin boots. He might be able to just grab my proto belt. I need to grab the proto belt as soon as I can get it. What is this guy doing? Yeah, I'm just going to hard shove this. Yikes. Man. Them rolling together like this is pretty annoying for me. I think they're just going to pressure the Drakes here. I'm going to reset, try and grab this, and then look to fight with it. We need to contest this, I think. I think we absolutely need to contest this. All right, let's see here. It's been a long time since I've ran the Proto Belt, so don't judge me too hardly, boys. Yeah, I don't think we're even ready for this. On, we're all split up. Kaisa's down here farming the lane. Yeah, I don't think we can even do anything here. Nice, he gets a steal. Man, I am getting absolutely obliterated. Yeah, that was brutal. This freaking Malzahar just sat over the wall and got all, everything on us. Shut down. That was brutal. Did we get the Drake? We did get the Drake, so that's good. But this Zed, man, is he still has a shutdown on him even after that. That was a really good TP by Cho'Gath. 
A little bit of a brutal game for us, though. I'll come up here and catch this. Getting that Drake was big. Um, I was trying to weave my fish in onto the Zed. I probably should have just looked for anyone else other than the Tarek. I'll come here. Arkaisa's pretty farmed up. I think she's she's a real good tank slayer, so she'll be good into the Scion and the Tarek. But yeah, Tarek, such a hard counter into Fizz. Because if, if Tarek didn't ult Zed there, we would have killed Zed and we would have survived. So if, pretty pretty good pick by them, honestly. I just need to farm up a little. Good thing is we have a mega fed Cho'Gath. I don't like the the, the Leandri's build. I think that's definitely not going to fare well for us. I think a, a tank Cho'Gath would be much better for us. Um, They're fighting down bot lane. Thresh definitely doesn't need to go for that guy. I think we Thresh just needs to stay down bot. He needs to be down here. There is absolutely no reason for Thresh to be just roaming around like this. Might be able to look for this guy, though. Good hit him with that fish. Oh, the fish doesn't hit. That's really bad. Oh, it still knocked him up. Let's go. Got the kill. I would love... Yeah, I say we just rotate down to this. Ah, uh, we bail, we bail here, we bail. Ooh, Thresh is probably toast. He bounced over. Yeah. I definitely think we just bail out of here. I'm gonna Q through him here. And then flash away. I don't want to give him a kill onto me. Actually, I might be able to kill him. Man, that was really bad by me. I should have just... Yeah, I kill him here. Even through his ignite. That's really good. I guess we died bot lane, though. Your team has destroyed a turret. All right, so we got some good stuff there. I think our team will probably die there. I definitely don't think he should have went in. He should have just let Kaisa basically either die or get away on her own. All right, we'll grab that. We'll grab the Seekers. And then try to run down and catch this wave. Our Cho'Gath is insanely strong. 173 farm. Mega farmed up here. I want to look to maybe we can, maybe we can mess with this guy. I think we definitely need someone to defend that mid lane. I'll give that to Kaisa. I don't want to steal her farm too much or anything. We did get the Ignite out of Zed and his ult, which is huge. I need to come sweep all this because I'm sure Tarek has been putting some vision down. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can even contest that. Might be able to get his ult out of him here. Got ulted by this guy. Man, that guy is so strong. Yeah, we're probably toast here. Maybe kill this guy and burst him out? No. Oh, I did get him. Wow. Somehow got him. I don't think we fight this at all. Ooh, got the munch. Actually, I come back into this maybe. We cannot let this Cho'Gath die. Ah, that's kind of sucked. Cho'Gath gave over a pretty hefty shutdown. I'm going to come bot lane. After I clear this vision. I really want to take this scuttle. Mainly so they don't get it. Because it's like 100 gold here. And we have the dragon up in 48. So this scuttle should still give us the vision and speed buff there. I'm going to get a reset in. Because I want to grab my... Fiendish Codex before this dragon fight. We need to be contesting this. This is going to be a huge fight here. This Malzahar is very strong right now. If he hits me, he just locks me down and kills me. I think we definitely need to be contesting this. I just can't be around it myself alone because they'll just kill I'm going to take this little bit of ward out here. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna try and de ward anything that they may have. There's Malzahar. I want to get his vision right now. Ooh, I don't know about that though, brother. I think we win this. We win this, right? Oh, wow. Jesus, the freaking. That sucks so much. I thought for sure we were going to win that. The Ma Malzahar was so low. 
This Tarek, he's just honestly the MVP. Nocturne went in, so I just followed him. I don't think this AP build is good at all. Yeah, we need a tank. We have no tank. They get a free Drake off of that. And honestly, all those kills is just going to completely screw us. This Caitlyn's mega strong. Uh, this is a bad play here. They pull off the Drake we can maybe do something, but I'm pretty sure Malzahar is just Enemy taking it. I mean, we could potentially do something here. They get greedy, but the Zed's probably back up already. We kill this guy for sure. They need to, he needs to let me have it. And I'm just bailing out. I want to let him get that. Ooh, wow, brother. Take it easy. Let him get this low for me, and then I'll take it. Actually, I think it's going to reset the patience bar. Yeah, not the greatest. We lost the Drake. We got a, you know, ended up getting a bunch of kills and handed over. I'm going to reset because I can grab my Zonyas, which is pretty big. I'm not sure why he's pinging me. He's going a very, very troll build. He's strong, but like, yeah, I, we absolutely need a tank more so than a AP Cho'Gath. Definitely winnable though. Cho'Gath scales infinitely. Unfortunately, their Scion scales infinitely as well. And this guy, they just have such a, a counter fizz team comp. They have the Malzahar and a Tarek, so it really screws my game up. Um, hopefully they don't fight that mid. And the bad thing is they're stacking really good Drakes. We're down about 30 CS to Malzahar, which is to be expected. The man literally just throws throws down stuff and doesn't even interact, so. All right, let's try and clear this wave, and then we'll get a reset in. Not a reset, but we'll come mid. I think they're probably just going to get hard engaged on and killed. I'm going to pop some pots preemptively. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's so squishy, the, the Cho'Gath is. I don't think in any chance do they, does he ever really do much. Look for a fish on someone. Potentially do something here. We just, yeah, we don't have much going on here. Oh, my Zonyas wouldn't go off. That's so unlucky. This Caitlyn's super strong. This is going to be an extremely hard fight. Or game to win. The Scion's really tanky. We don't have really any tank, and like I said, they're just hard countering me with their team comp. Definitely winnable. We can still win for sure, but it's gonna be very hard. We would have loved to have a freaking. A uh, Heart Steel Cho'Gath would have been way better than a. Full AP Cho'Gath. Man, they're just so so far ahead already at this point. But all it takes is one good team fight, wipe them, get Baron, and just potentially win. They just uh, the, the, the enemy team just have such a good team comp into our team comp specifically. If we had a tanky Cho'Gath, we could probably make something happen. I want to look for her if she steps up. I don't think we can siege. Yes, I am aware. Their whole team is just going to come there. I can't. I would love to go down this side lane, but they're just going to hard engage on our team if I do that. Kind of like they did that last fight. And it's kind of... Kind of shitty. We don't really have a team fight oriented team right here. Their team fighting is so much better than ours with the the Tarek and the Malzahar. They have vision everywhere too. I can't even do too much. This Drake is probably theirs. 
And Malzahar is super strong too. Like there's no chance where I can just 1v1 him at this point. They're gonna all rotate down to this. I can't even go for the Caitlyn because their whole team's right there. Boy's gotta not fight this. Spending a lot of time on this guy. Whereas their whole team's coming. It's good disengage. They are down Scion, but they still have the Tarek who's uber strong. I think we need to be fast. I got it onto the Caitlyn. I think we just fight her now. I'm dead, probably. I'm just spamming my Zaronios right now. I got a lot of damage on the Caitlyn. This should be a kill. We sh should end up wiping all of them and then getting the Drake. All right, that's big worth. Get a Mountain Drake. Tie up the Drakes. I think they have the better Drakes. I like this one, but I think this is better. The heal and shield power. But that's good. We got a Mountain Drake. We evened it up. I honestly think we could just do this. They're dead. The only person alive is Scion. I think we need to just rush it. It's up to them, though. I, Yeah, Proto Belt really just doesn't do a lot of damage on the item itself. Ludin does so much more, but... To proc his shield is really good. Hopefully, they get it. They just need to stay on the Baron. They need to stay on the Baron. Screw Scion, let him do what he's gonna do and just stay on the Baron. And then we fight, now we fight. I think we fight at this point. Cause they're all come, eh. Uh, we just let him flash. Flash over and, well, actually we can kill this guy. Yeah, we kill him. Might even be able yeah, Malzahar is going to be coming, so we don't want to fight this anymore. We just bail. We got the kill. Look at that save from my boy. I wasn't letting you go down, brother. All right, we really need to grab this bot lane farm. Someone can go defend mid. Arkaisa's getting strong. I mean, <laughs> even though we did get the Baron, which is awesome. Big, big, massive play. Um, we're still behind. It's still going to be kind of a hard game to win. I'm going to come grab this blue buff. Once I get my loot, Lich Bane, I can potentially look to one-shot the Caitlyn. I'm going to clear this wave and then group with my team. Because I want this bot lane pushing as well as we go down mid. So that way if uh, we somehow get crushed mid lane gonna pop some corrupting pots preemptively get some mana regen and i think we need to just come here there's no reason for us all to be in this jungle like be warding look for a fish onto someone i can potentially kill this guy Nazania just save my hp try to e away regen some health i don't know where my avenue is here to fight she's so tanky Oh, I messed that up pretty bad. Yeah, we just, we don't have a great team fight comp, and we just got killed right off the bat. This is really screwing us, man. I wish this guy was tanky. We have no front line. He just, yeah, this might actually be game here. They could probably just run it down and in. Tough, tough game. Let's go ahead and get rid of that by the Lich Bane. I think with Scion, they can just end here. We have Nocturne up in six, but they can they have four people up. Yeah, I think this is game, unfortunately. This uh kind of got team comp gift. We do have Baron buff minions. But yeah, I think they're just they just in here. Unfortunately, they're just gonna we need to hit her. Someone has to go for her. She's the one doing all the damage to the tower to the inhib. No, oh, she was one auto away, man. <laughs> All right, boys, that's it. Fizz mid versus Malzahar. We'll take you to the after action after this. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Malzahar mid. And yeah, this was a rough game. Like, we had a very a lot of damage out of our Cho'Gath, but I I really just do not think this build was the play. His damage was insane most in the game, 
but we had no front line. Like our, when it comes to team fighting, we were not able to let our AD do the work. And honestly, this guy's Moby boots really screwed us too. Like he needs to be going either Merc treads or plated steel caps to get some tankiness. But yeah, we just, this team, this was a, just a hard team comp diff. The Malzahar and the Tarek just completely screwed my game. I wasn't able to really do much. They, they can just stall out the team fights long enough to where, you know, their AD doesn't die. Malzahar doesn't die. And even Zed at this point. And then they have the super mega tanky Scion and Tarek to hide behind. So just a rough game. Um, can't win them all. We're sitting after that loss. I think we're at like 66, 60 something LP. Two more wins. So if we get two wins back to back, we'll still promote. Um, yeah, kind of a rough game. Uh, I think the Proto Belt in theory and two Malzahar is good because you can get a shield and stuff. But I think potentially next time I run this matchup, I'll try the Ludens because Ludens may be better just for like cooldown reduction onto everything being able to E more and the on hit damage as soon as you like use your abilities on someone because you can proc it multiple times in a fight. Whereas like this thing, my proto belt maybe did 1.5k damage, you know, whereas your Ludens will do a lot of damage throughout the course of a game. But yeah, guys, sorry we couldn't pull out that win. Um, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. It really does help push our content out to other people and get discovered easier. And uh, yeah, stick around for the next video.